Hey guys, welcome back to my channel Crafty Concepts with Erin. I'm Erin and I'm here today. We're going to create a couple cards using this Your Possum stamp set. So cute. I love these little kitty characters and the sentiments on this stamp are tons of fun. Just perfect. Your Possum. Meow. Eat, sleep, play, and repeat. Super cute. And anything shaded in this like light turquoise color, you can get the stamp with the coordinating thin cuts or without if you don't have a die cutting machine. So really fun stamp. And then I have the mix in paper pack from the current June and July catalog. So if you're not familiar, the mix in paper pack can be used on its own as a standalone paper pack. There's tons of gorgeous colors and patterns, or you know, you can use these to go along with the current collections. There's the Wander paper and the Isabella. So they're designed to um, work with those beautiful and let me give you a closer look here each color you know it's one color you know one tone on either side this is the peach color and so we have two different patterns that's a really pretty pattern there I love that um, texture on the background or the other side has these kind of lines the little dashes and then we have one in the sage color we have leaves or on the other side is just this um, sage background with these tiny little like stitch marks on there very pretty and then this is paprika. We have a nice like brushed pattern there. And on the other side, we have this um, paprika background with the little white um, squares or rectangles, I guess you would call them with the lines. And then this one is toffee. We have the polka dots. And on the other side is a wood grain paper. And I love wood grain paper. In fact, I'm gonna be really sad when the wood grain paper retires from the annual catalog. This one is the sapphire. This almost reminds me of blue jeans. It really has a denim look to it. And on the other side is white with the sapphire polka dots. And all of these are 12 by 12, but I have already cut into them, so that's why they may look slightly smaller. And then the coordinating zip strips are always fun too. This is mink and it's got a nice uh, stripe on it. And on the other side is this floral pattern there. So I'll be using a little bit of the mix in paper pack to create my cards today, but let's go ahead and get started. Oh, but first I also want to show you we are using the window die. So this is a really fun die set. I have made shaker cards using this window, but I love it because you can really customize it and change the look up. We have the, of course, the square that makes the window panes, and then you can create shutters. There's two different types of shutters. And then these can either be the top and bottom or like a shelf or window box or something like that. Now you guys, this is retiring. This is in the core catalog and for those of you that don't know the core catalog is renewing this September which is super exciting because you know all those fun new products but this is I love this and I'm so glad I have it in my collection so if you like this just remember after um, August it you won't be able to get this from the core catalog because it is a retiring um, die set so just keep that in mind okay so I first want to start out with my stamping. I have the foam insert for my stamp pads and then we have a piece of white daisy and then I've gone ahead and mounted my kitties on blocks. So we're going to use all three kitties in today's projects today. And then for these, I'm going to be coloring them in with um, my Spectrum Noir Tri-Blend Markers. So I want to use the Intense Black Ink. This is a solvent-based permanent ink and it's alcohol marker friendly. Now speaking of the alcohol markers, I do want to clarify, I um, have mentioned alcohol inks. I've referred to Close to My Heart inks as alcohol inks and they're not. They're water-based dye inks and I totally know that, but I you know, get talking about the alcohol markers and just throughout the word alcohol inks. So I just wanted to clarify that one of my um, crafty friends pointed that out, which I'm so appreciative, but I did say that in a couple of videos and I don't want to confuse anyone. So just know these are water-based dye inks because alcohol-based inks would react very differently. Anyway, I digress. Let's go ahead and get started with our stamping. Sorry for all the chatter. Normally I jump right into the project, but I did want to get that information out. So we're stamping one of each of these little kitty characters, again, in that intense black ink. So I'm giving enough room in between my stamping images so I can put the die cuts on there when I cut these out. 
Now, again, you can purchase them with or without these coordinating die cuts. It is easier to color when they're still on the paper, or at least I think so. I already went ahead and colored these cute little characters just to save some time, and I will show you the colors here in just a minute that I did for these three little kitties. Now, you'll notice this one has stripes, and I gave mine big patches, so they're totally customizable, and you can switch them up and give them fun looks. And if you look at this little kitty I added some stripes on his tail and on his face just with a little journaling pen I gave some quick little black zigzags and then the same thing for this guy's stripes on the tail now for my Spectrum Noir Tri-Blend Markers, if you're not familiar with these, they have all three shades in one marker, making it super easy. So this is the Ice Gray Blend that I did the Gray Kitties, and then we have the Golden Brown Shades. And just a touch of the pale pink on this kitty's tongue and cheeks. So I'll move these out of way, the way, but I love how customizable these are, and they're so fun to color in with the markers. So for our background, I have a piece of four by five and a quarter pattern paper. This is the mink and I'm gonna use the stripe side. And then I also have two pieces of the wood grain paper. Now this is where we're bringing in our window die. I'm using this piece here and I'm going to create shelves and you'll see here in a minute. So I don't want the whole piece, I just want like half and you'll see why when I put my card together. So I'll die cut these out and we're going to cut from the off the a little bit off of the right side and then the left side so we have shelves coming out from the wall that are staggered you could put them centered on the card but i thought the staggered look was fun and just kind of made it more interesting so these cards were completely inspired by another company's um, launch. I think it was called like um, Plants and Cats or Cats and Plants, one or the other, but they were so cute. And so I wanted to dig through my stash and stamps and see what I could create because I just loved the look. So while these kitties are current, I am gonna bring out a plant stamp that isn't, but hey, we love to dive into our stash and use what we have on hand too, right? So, you know, I'll show you the plants I'm going to use and then maybe you can kind of dig through your stash to see if you have something similar. So I am laying down my layers and I'm going to go ahead and glue the bottom one and then bring in my little kitty because I want to make sure um, of my placement before I adhere the top one. So this little guy is going to sit right about there and I don't want the shelf, you know, crowding him too much. So we will put that up just a bit like so. I'm just eyeballing it to make sure our shelves are straight. We don't want any crooked shelves on the wall. And then this cute little kitty is going to sit on the top shelf. Now here is the plant stamp I have on hand. It's called Born to Bloom. And again, it's retired, it's not available. I did check, sorry about that. But again, check and see what you have in your stash. Now here I'm using the dull green and light green blend and the true blue. So I'm going to adhere these down. I have my tweezers just because they are kind of small and I'm using a little bit of liquid glue so it can allow me to slide them in place. I need to tuck that right under my shelf so it looks like it's sitting on top, just like so. And then I wanna pop the plant up with foam tape. And I'm totally forgetting what the name of this plant is. I know I've seen it in the stores a gazillion times, but uh, yeah, if you know what this plant is called, leave it in the comments below. <laughs> it has like a little bloom on it and they're really pretty. So just to give some different layers, I'm using the glue to adhere this kitty directly to the card face. And we'll put him like he's standing on the shelf, ready to knock that potted plant over because that's the way my cat would, you know, behave. I don't know about your kitty. Mine is definitely mischievous. So this little kitty I popped up with some foam tape and he's ch kind of chilling out on the upper shelf. And then this is a little hanging basket. So of course we'll have that hanging from the top of the card rather than sitting on the shelf. I just cut a little bit of foam tape to get in that tiny little piece on the top. And I'll grab my tweezers just so I can get my hands out of the way and place that. Perfect. Now, I think this is kind of cute without a sentiment, but you could add just perfect or your possum, um, you know, whatever you wanted to say. You could make it a thank you card. I have a sentiment for my stash that says you make me smile. So you could put it there or underneath the lower kitty in the right hand corner. So just to give you some different ideas. 
Now for our second card, I'm going to cut another window shell from the wood grain paper, and from the mink cardstock, we'll cut out a window pane. I love layering die cuts on cards and my scrapbook layouts. I just am a huge die cut fan. So I'm pulling out all my pieces there, and we'll clear up the mess. And now for the window, the back of my window, I'm using Carolina ink here. I'm bringing in my all-purpose mat just so I can do some ink blending. Now you totally could use blue cardstock, but I didn't have anything quite light enough. It would have made it a darker shade outside, right? So I'm just using my craft brush, blending a little bit of this Carolina ink. It does not have to be smooth and perfect. Um, there's something about the camera lighting that always catches the imperfections too. Now for my background, I'm using this brick embossing folder from my stash just to add a little character you could have just a piece of pattern paper back there like it was wallpaper or you know um, whatever embossing folder you have or pattern paper you want to use you could use that striped mink pattern again from the mix-in collection but I thought the bricks would be fun kind of like a kitchen subway tile right and then we'll create our little window. So I'm gonna run a bead of glue just around the outside edge of this window, and then we'll layer our window pane over the top. Again, I cut this out of mink cardstock, and that is the lighter side of the color. And then a little tape runner. So you could completely make this a shaker card, which would be really easy to do and lots of fun, but I just thought I'd keep this simple so the focus was on the kitty. We'll glue down our little window box, or actually it's a shelf because it's on the inside. I guess if it was on the outside, it would be a window box. So make sure that's straight. And now I want to use pattern paper. We colored the pots on the first card. So this one I'm going to use pattern paper. I'm stamping the pot right over that pattern, cutting that out. And that's just another fun way to use your pattern paper. And um, we have a little monster or monster, I don't know, monster plant. We call them monster plants. But well, I've already colored it with the dull green markers. And I'm going to place my little pot here that is popped up on dimensional foam and then I will just tuck a little bit of glue behind my plant here get that little guy tacked down I'm gonna put a block on top so it dries nice and flat and then the little kitty character will be sitting right to the side here I have a gray cat I have two cats one is gray and his name is Thomas and then toad is a little short hair torty so I'm showing you guys a couple little clouds. I thought the window needed some interest. So this is from the Wander Card Making Workshop. So you get this die cut and you get to make 16 of these cards, four of each design. But I took the little cloud die from that set because it seemed to be just the right size for my window here. And then I'm gonna use a liquid glue. And I like to do things in odd numbers. So I cut out three clouds and I'm going to layer two in this open pane here and then we'll put one above the plant on the left hand side so i'm going to tuck this just ever so slightly behind my window pane i think that kind of looks more realistic there and then this one again we'll put on the left side right about here now if you're a dog fan they have a dog stamp that is equally as adorable so you'll want to check that out so here's a finished card again with or without a sentiment but you could stamp it down here or on the inside as well i hope you guys were inspired by today's projects i know i had a ton of fun creating these cards if you are not already a subscriber i would love to have you as part of the crafty concepts with aaron community here's a few more videos i think you'll enjoy thank you guys so much for watching and i'll catch you next time happy crafting